God bless you, everybody. You are welcome to today's teaching. Today we are teaching a brand new message called Walking in the Victory Towards the Rapture. Walking in the Victory Towards the Rapture. This is part one. I want you to tag your friend and share this one in all your social platform. Today we are going to learn about becoming who you are already in the spirit. Becoming who you are already in the spirit. How you can be visible in the hand of the enemy. You can be invisible. So having said that, let us go to the presence of God in prayer. Father, we thank you. We give you praise for another opportunity to bring your precious word and teach your precious word to your precious people. We prove that you redeemed already by your precious blood. I give you praise. Bible says the entrance of your word gives light. Light is permit homes and family right now and relationship in the name of Jesus. There shall be testimony. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to today's teaching. This is a teaching ministry. And write something down. Walking in the victory towards the rapture. I'm taking my my Bible reference from the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 37 to 39. Romans chapter 8, verse 37 to 39 says, Now, nay, listen to that, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that love us. Oh, glory be to God. Verse 13, Therefore, I am persuaded that neither death, hallelujah, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, come on now, nor things present, nor things to come. Look at verse 39, say, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. The love that is in Christ. Not the one that is in the Adam, emotional love. No, conditional love. No. The love that is in Christ. Agape, the love of God. He said, through this love, we are more than conquerors. Nothing in this world can separate us from this love. That is powerful. Somebody said that nothing in this world can separate me from the love of God. Will you say that? Nothing in this world can separate me from the love of God. Oh, glory be to God. You know, we are walking through the raptures. As I said before, if you are in Christ, you don't die, you sleep. You know, the trumpet sounds, you get up, hallelujah. Praise God. But between now and the end of your physical journey, God wants you to walk in victory. <laughs> to walk in victories, you have to become who you already are in the spirit. In the spirit. You will become yo yo, yo up and down. No. Not will be able to move you in this world. You move by the news of the hours, by the famine, by what has happened on the outside. Because on the inside, the greater one is there. Oh, glory be to God. 
So I've said the next of becoming who you already are in the spirit. When you are born again, this thing, your mind don't change automatically. Your body don't change at all to rapture. But you have a brand new spirit. Say that I'm, I have a brand new spirit. Listen to what Bible say in 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says, Therefore, if any man, any woman, black or white, rich or poor, if any man be in Christ, when you, when you are born of the Spirit, when you have the recreated Spirit in you, hallelujah, Bible says, He is a new creature. Not your mind, not your flesh, but in your spirit. You are brand new. All things that condemnation, all things like inferiority complex, all things are passed away. It is it's going to, it's passed away. Not in your mind, no, but in your spirit. Behold, all things have become new. You are now a divinity carrier. God Almighty, dwell in your spirit. Praise the Lord. But in order for you to experience this victory and to walk in this spirit, this spirit, this victory that you have given to you in your spirit, we call that renewal of your mind. That's a process. That's a process. In the new of your mind. <laughs> so your mind will not be a victim of your experience. Your mind will not be victims of the news around you. So you see, your mind consists of three elements. Soul, will, and emotion. Soul, will, and emotion. Listen to what Bible says. In the book of Romans chapter 12, I say somebody free right now. Say that with me, I am free. Say it again, I am free in the name of Jesus. Romans 12, I'm reading from verses 1 to 2, says, I beseech you, therefore, Brethren, this is for Christian. This is a epistle, a letter of Paul to the church in Rome. You see, I still beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercy of God, even though you are saved, but now you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable. Unto God. In other words, how do you do that? He gives us the answer here. He said, Unto God, say, which is as your reasonable service, and be not conformed. Don't think like the world. <laughs> Don't go the ways of the world. Be not conformed to this world, to this present world. The world that five senses rules. The, the realm of corruption. Have you see people saved and corrupt? Yes. Because they don't know how to renew their mind. That's why you tune in. The time of your failure is over. You don't have to battle devil all the time. Devil is the one that will run away from you. Listen to me. He said, and be not conformed to this world, but by... Be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. Amen. You say you have a brand new spirit. New. But your mind needs to be renewed. Listen to this. Now ye may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. The will of God for you is to live a victorious life. 
If the will of God for you is to live a bordered life, the will of God for you is to live a joyful life. But it cannot happen automatically because you are born again. No. You need to renew your mind. That is why you turn it today. I see somebody free. Listen to me. Renew of your mind motivates you to develop a victorious consciousness. I will say it again. Write it down. Renew of your minds motivates you to develop a victorious consciousness instead of sin consciousness. Instead of sin consciousness. Oh, do I sin? Oh, do I pray? No. No. You renew your mind concerning who God says you are in the means of problems. It doesn't matter what devil throw to your way. It cannot move you because of death. Because even in the grave, Jesus got the victory. That's why we don't die, we sleep. You have your loved one as gone as I do. The glorious days on the way. You are a winner. Either you are alive in the flesh or you have gone to the grave. You are a winner. If you renew your mind. So, I will say it again. Renew of your mind motivates you to develop a victorious consciousness. Instead of sin consciousness. What is the difference? Listen. Sin consciousness is a religious trap to keep you stuck. No movement, no advancement. Are you hearing me? It will, it will keep you. You will know what happened when you are you have victory in Christ. Why do you have that bad dreams? Why do you are sick in your body. Why your take home is not enough to take you home. It doesn't matter. Paul say nay, not this thing. We are more than conquerors. Praise God. If you go to my Facebook page for today's devotion, because I send that every day to my Facebook page. I talk about, listen to me, becoming a particle of God's nature. You study that. Becoming a particle. God's nature. Listen. Sin consciousness will lead you to joy. Listen. Sin, this is very important. This is very. I wish. I wish I was taught when I was first saved. I wish I taught this. All the struggle I've been through is not necessary. Hmm? Sin consciousness will lead you to judge the word of God, which your experiences. You see, well, if I'm saved, why do I have bad dream? If I'm saved, why can't I pay my rent? If I'm saved, why have depression? Listen, it doesn't matter what you experience. What really matters to develop? Listen, victorious consciousness. So, I will repeat it. The same consciousness will lead you to judge the word of God which you experience instant. Of you judging your experience with the word of God. What do I mean? Some of you may have heard that from me before. When we are about to, 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 to obtain loan for our building, church building, you know, the bank number one says, Where is your headquarters? I said, In heaven, the man denied me. Bank number two asks the same question. Bank on the first bank. So I don't take no to my answer because on the inside, the heart is of the Lord mm? and the fullness thereof. When you begin to develop your, you begin to develop a victorious conscience. You will take no for your answer. No matter what happened to you on the answer, you have the inner tenacity to say, I won't give up. I keep on going. I keep on going. I keep on going. Until the next bank say, yes. Because I know this. Do you know the inside that your father, God, is the owner of the universe? Do you know that? Did you know the inside that your father, God, resides in you? Do you know that? Yes, he did. 
to do not judge the word of God because of what you're going to. And you have bad dreams, you are down. It doesn't matter. You go to the wall. <laughs> Victory is mine. Say that with me. Victory is mine. He said, No weapon form against will prosper. It is said they won't form it. They will form it, it will not prosper. The combo sata, it will not prosper. God wants you to live a victorious life towards the rapture. You don't just say, Oh God, what will be will be. No. Folks, listen to me. Let me let me just give you some of the characteristics of a renewed mind. Some of the characteristics of a renewed mind because you are saved. Stay here to bring souls. But you cannot experience the abundant life, the victorious life, or to learn how to renew your mind. Some of the characteristics of a renewed mind are this fear. Listen, by the way, one out of four people are victims of fear in the whole world. One out of four. One fourth of the population, including Christian, worry and negative thinking, negative thinking. This thing. The whole nations of Israel perish in the wilderness. Only Joshua can make it to the promised land. Why? Because of negative thinking. Let me go to the word. This is very important. In the book of Numbers 13, I come against that dem demonic attack of worry. Somebody, you hearing me now, you belittle yourself. It's not about you, it's about God that lives in you. Numbers 13, 33. Numbers 13, 33 say, and there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which comes of the giant. And we are in our own side as grass copper. Who told you that? And so we are in their side. Negative thinking. Oh God, I can't make it. Who said that? He's supposed to nothing can separate us. I don't care what you face in this world. Greater one is on the inside of you. Say that. Greater one. It's inside of me. The whole nation, over two to three million people, perished in the wilderness. After all, God told them, go to the land that has given unto you. Did you know that the earth is of the world, of the Lord, and the fullness thereof? You be denied in your job, go back again. But renew your mind. Hmm? Are you facing incurable disease? Go back to the world and say, Bible says, with God, all things are possible. What are impossibles with men are possible with God? Luke 18, 27. God sent me to you. Don't forget, the characteristics, some of the characters of a renewed mind is fear, worry, and negative thinking. Look at 2 uh, Timothy. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. You are saved, yes. You go to heaven, yes. You go to rapture, yes. But are you walking in victory? Walk in victory when you begin to judge everything you see by the word of God. You have some bad dream. You have some bad situation. You say, no, I, 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 I did not receive this. God says, I'm a victorious. God did not give you the spirit of fear. Because fear will torment you. We receive, we refuse you to sleep or to eat. That's what the Bible says. 1 John 4, 18. 1 John 4, 18 says, There is no fear in love. But perfect love cast out fear. Because fear has torment. He that fear is not made perfect in love. He torment you. Even though you are saved on your way to heaven, when you begin to be tormented. Because when you begin to renew your mind, you, you, you experience the perfect will of God. One day, every property of Job, including his son, died, perished because of fear. I don't know what devil is trying to do in your life, mess you, mess your relationship because of situation, 
Look at Job chapter 3, verse 25. Job said, For the thing which I greatly fear is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. Are you afraid? <laughs> Was it nothing can separate me? Is it death? Hmm? Is it a disease? Nothing. You just go to the world. You renew your mind concerning who God says you are. You renew your mind, you will not have what is called a, for, a forgetful mind, an indisciplined mind, an unteachable mind, an indecisive mind. Those are result of lack of renewal of man. Call yourself a Christian. You are afraid of uh, the mark of beast which will not come to you because beast, man, beast will not be on the throne until the rapture. Call yourself a Christian. You are based of coven, coven and Vaseline. You say, I don't want that to put it in your body. Who tell you that? Your body belongs to God. If there's anything in your body that is not of God, will dry. You say you drink poison, it will not hurt you. You live in fear because of the condition of the world. Instead of you to manifest the power of sonship, to manifest, to speak courageously from your position, to tell disease disappear. In this last day, God is raising up armies. We're going to usher Jesus in. Jesus is coming for a glorious church, a powerful church. That's why you tune in. Oh, hallelujah. You join me on Wednesday, continuation of this walking in the victory toward the rapture. I'm going to take you step by step. Nay, in all this thing, you are more than conqueror. If you're anywhere in Rodeland tomorrow, join me on a Zoom lectures. Oh! God family church member, join me tomorrow. I'm going to talk about the I'm going to talk about the five things about the secret place that God put you to. So you can do what God asks you to do. This coming Wednesday on the 4th of September is the month of the best is yet to come for us. You join me on the Zoom. We have prayer 9, 12, 3, and 6. Oh, members of our church, don't forget to tune in. I want to pray for you now. Anywhere you may be, I want to pray for you. If you don't know the Lord, oh, your mind is so unstable. Fear govern your mind. I come against that fear. First of all, say, Lord Jesus, say that with me. I give my life to you. Be my Lord and my Savior. I haven't said that. I want to pray. Every forgettable mind. You always forget things. Every undisciplined mind. You can't organize your time. Every unteachable mind. You, you, don't, you can't comprehend the thing of God. Every decisive mind. You cannot make your mind. I come against that man. Lose a host from that man and woman, boys and girls that listen to me. And begin to live a victorious life. And Jesus has given to us. Amen. Ooh, I see somebody free. Say that I am free and victorious. In the name of Jesus. You join me here on Wednesday. The first day of the month. You continue. This month, God said to tell you the best is yet to come. Say that we mean the best is yet to come. If you're anywhere in Rodeland Church, the God's Family Church, 1525 Broad Street in Crasting, Rodeland, here in the U.S. Hallelujah. At church time, every Sunday, 9.30 a.m., come and join the group of winners. And anywhere you listen to this broadcast in the world, make sure this coming... Sunday, go to Bible believing church. When you are going to learn what it means to be a particle of divine nature, it is time to move forward victoriously. Don't get stuck with religious trap, with sin consciousness. Confess, confess every day. Listen, when you are in Christ, 
you must leave those behind. Don't forget that. God bless you until Wednesday, the same time and the same place. Remember, Jesus is love. Amen.